And you know, the final player to qualify for this year's Masters Tournament, he was qualified yesterday by winning a tournament in Texas. Akshay Bhatia, Bhatia Akshay Bhatia, got to get used to that name. He played in the very first drive chip and putt national championship 10 years ago in Augusta, and he becomes the first drive chip and putt player to earn his way back to the national and to the Masters. Bhatia spoke with reporters just a little while ago, and our sports director, Dan Booth, joins us now to dive into this really incredible journey back to Augusta. Richard, this is a full circle yeah. moment for Akshay Batia. He arrived here in, at, in Augusta at around 1.30 in the morning. And because of that, he, it, it's just such a crazy turnaround for him after winning the Valero Texas Open on a one-hole playoff, which it went right down to the wire. And it was incredible just how his journey has continued to go. The 22-year-old becomes the first player to compete in the drive chip and putt national championship and return to Augusta National to play one of the most legendary courses in the world. In addition to playing in the inaugural drive chip and putt national championship 10 years ago, Batia also won the Sage Valley Junior Invitational back in 2018. He's also the only he's only the 10th player in the last 50 years to win multiple PGA Tour titles before turning 23 years old. All of his past experiences have led him back to Augusta. Being here as a kid is kind of a fairy tale. Um, just having the opportunity, qualifying, and you earn your spot getting here, just how I did today. And so it's, uh, it's a cool kind of, it's a cool thing that, you know, everyone at Augusta National does for, for us and uh, for years to come. And this is just an incredible story for multiple reasons, including just how special it is. It provides context to how amazing of an opportunity is for all of these younger golfers to be able to play in these events growing up to maybe come back to Augusta National one day like this amazing opportunity here. And one thing that's kind of funny, Richard, is because he was the last person to qualify, Augusta National had to wait to make his nameplate. And because his last name starts with a B, they had to change around the whole leaderboard, which is pretty funny to say the least. Yeah, that's done by hand at Augusta, by the way, and I, I did make it a point to look for his name up on the main leaderboard today, and what a great story. And by the way, that's his fiance celebrating with him yesterday in Texas, which means, Dan, she could be a caddy on Wednesday. You know, a lot of golfers put their girlfriends slash fiancés to work on Wednesday. <laughs>